Imagine a world where instead of being covered in vast oceans, Earth is a sprawling expanse of deserts, a planet where water is scarce. This scenario might seem far-fetched, but it invites us to explore the dynamics of our planet and the delicate balance that sustains life as we know it. One way this drastic transformation could occur is through a catastrophic event such as a giant meteor strike. Such an impact could trigger a series of environmental changes, including altering the atmosphere and triggering widespread desertification. The aftermath would be a planet where water is a rare commodity, fundamentally changing every aspect of life, from ecosystems to human civilization. In a world transformed into a vast desert, human survival and adaptation would take innovative and extraordinary forms. One of the most critical adaptations would be finding shelter from the relentless sun and preserving as much water as possible. In this scenario, humans might turn to two main strategies for habitation, living underground or in specially designed reflective structures above the surface. Living underground would offer a natural solution to the scorching surface temperatures. Subterranean habitats could take advantage of the Earth's lower temperatures below the surface, providing a more stable and cooler environment. These underground dwellings could be extensive networks of interconnected habitats, akin to modern-day bunkers but on a much larger scale. Advanced ventilation systems would be crucial for ensuring air circulation, controlling humidity, and maintaining a livable environment. These habitats could be lit using fiber-optic cables that channel sunlight from the surface, reducing the need for artificial lighting. Above the surface, reflective structures could be another innovative solution. These buildings would be designed with highly reflective materials to deflect sunlight and minimize heat absorption. Think of them as large mirrors, but with habitable spaces inside. The architecture would likely be dome-shaped or geodesic to maximize the reflection and dispersal of sunlight. These structures could be equipped with solar panels, turning the disadvantage of relentless sun into a sustainable energy source. Water collection and preservation would be another crucial aspect of survival. One method could be the construction of massive moisture pits. These pits would be large, concave structures designed to collect and condense moisture from the air. In cooler temperatures, especially at night, these pits could collect dew or even light rainfall, funneling the water into storage tanks. The design would include non-porous cooled surfaces to maximize condensation. This water would then be used for drinking, agriculture and other essential purposes. Water extraction from the atmosphere would become more sophisticated. Technologies like atmospheric water generators, which condense moisture from the air, would be crucial. These systems could be powered by the abundant solar energy, making them a sustainable option for water production. Advances in materials science could lead to more efficient moisture-absorbing materials, increasing the yield of these generators. Recycling and purifying water would also be a critical practice, Advanced filtration systems could recycle grey water from showers, sinks and even the air, making every drop count. Water from these systems would be purified and reused, ensuring a sustainable and continuous supply. In terms of diet, there would likely be a shift towards foods that require less water to produce. This might include an increased reliance on legumes, certain nuts and tubers, and perhaps a move away from water-intensive crops like rice and wheat. Additionally, the cultivation of algae and insects as protein sources could become common, as they require less space and water than traditional livestock. In this harsh desert world, community cooperation would be vital. Water management would likely become a community-centered activity, with strict protocols to ensure fair distribution and sustainable usage. Localized weather monitoring systems would also become essential, predicting rare rainfalls or temperature drops to maximize water collection and prepare for any adverse conditions. In a world where Earth has transformed into a vast desert, technological innovation would be crucial for adapting to new environmental challenges. Such innovations would not only be geared towards survival, but also aim to maintain a certain quality of life under drastically changed conditions. One key area of innovation would be the development and expansion of solar farms. In a desert-dominated world, solar energy would be abundant and largely untapped. These solar farms, sprawling across vast areas, would harness the sun's energy more efficiently than ever before. Using advanced photovoltaic cells designed to withstand harsh desert conditions and sand erosion, 
Newer technologies, like perovskite solar cells, could offer higher efficiency and lower production costs, making solar energy the backbone of the planet's energy needs. Alongside solar power, wind energy would also play a pivotal role. Wind farms, consisting of arrays of wind turbines, would be strategically placed in regions where desert winds are most consistent and strong. The design of these turbines would be adapted to prevent sand damage and accumulation, ensuring long-term operational stability and efficiency. Another innovative concept that could emerge in this desert world is the development of floating platforms in the sky, hosting tropical oases. These aerial havens would be situated high above the scorching desert surface, where temperatures are cooler and more hospitable. They could harness solar energy for power and use condensation-based systems to collect water from the air. These floating oases would not only serve as agricultural hubs, producing food and water, but also as recreational and living spaces, offering a respite from the desert landscape below. Steam capture technology would be another area of focus. In certain areas, underground heat could be used to boil water, producing steam. This steam could then be captured and used to drive turbines, generating electricity in a process similar to geothermal power. Additionally, the condensation from this steam could also be collected as a source of water. Agriculture would need to adapt dramatically in this new environment. Hydroponic systems, which grow plants in a water-based, nutrient-rich solution, would become the norm, drastically reducing water usage compared to traditional soil farming. These systems could be integrated into both underground and reflective surface dwellings, ensuring a steady supply of fresh produce. The transformation of ecosystems and wildlife would be profound and far-reaching. Desert ecosystems, characterized by their extreme conditions of high temperatures, low water availability and sparse vegetation, would dominate the landscape. This shift would drastically alter the biodiversity and ecological dynamics we are familiar with. One of the most significant changes would be the adaptation of plant life. Plants that thrive in arid conditions, such as cacti and succulents, which are adept at storing water, would become widespread. These plants have evolved various adaptations to survive with minimal water, such as deep root systems to tap underground moisture and thick leaves or stems for water storage. Moreover, plants might evolve to have smaller, fewer leaves or even spines to reduce water loss, a common characteristic of desert vegetation. Wildlife would also undergo dramatic adaptations. Animal species would have to evolve mechanisms to conserve water, such as more efficient kidneys, the ability to derive moisture from food and behaviors that minimize water loss. Nocturnal lifestyles could become more common to avoid the daytime heat. We might see an increase in burrowing animals as underground habitats would offer respite from the extreme surface temperatures. Insects could become the dominant animal group due to their small size, lower water requirements, and quick breeding cycles. Arthropods like scorpions and arachnids, already well adapted to desert environments, would likely thrive. Larger mammals and birds might become rarer, with those surviving evolving specialized adaptations to cope with the harsh conditions. Aquatic life would face the most dramatic changes. With the reduction of water bodies, aquatic ecosystems would be limited to a few oases or underground aquifers. Species unable to adapt to the decreasing water availability would face extinction, while others might evolve into new forms, perhaps becoming smaller or developing the ability to survive in brackish or minimal water conditions. The transformation of Earth into a desert planet would necessitate profound societal changes. The scarcity of water would become a central concern, reshaping economies, cultures, and political systems. One of the primary societal changes would be the migration of populations. People would move towards areas where water is still available, such as underground aquifers or artificially maintained oases. This could lead to the development of densely populated megacities designed to efficiently manage and conserve water resources. Rural and agricultural communities would face significant challenges, potentially leading to a decline in traditional farming practices. The economy would undergo substantial shifts, with industries dependent on water facing the need to innovate or become obsolete. Water-intensive industries like agriculture, manufacturing and energy production would have to adapt to the new conditions or be replaced by more sustainable alternatives. The water trade could become a significant economic activity, with water becoming a valuable and traded commodity. And as always, 
We hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching.